Coming in at number five is Herschel, the English Bulldog Pirate. You're such a good boy. You're a sweet pirate. You might not be able to talk, Herschel, but we know what you're thinking. Give me food. Or you'll walk the plank. Star, matey. What is this thing on my head? Doggy dress up. Is there anything cuter? Probably not. But listen, everyone, let's keep it safe out there. And that means making sure that there's no areas on the costume that are too tight for your dog, that they can walk and they can move all their body parts and that they can see. Well then, you're all good, Herschel, so swashbuckle away. <laughs> Commanding the number four spot is Buddy Bear, a ferocious Boston Terrier who's all decked out for Halloween. Are you having a good Halloween, buddy? Maximum cuteness? Right there. You look marvelous. With that king of the jungle costume, you're set to make a killing in candy this year, kid. <laughs> My teeth hurt. That's so sweet. Sweet indeed. Remember, no chocolate, buddy bear. Patiently biding his time at number three is a German shepherd named Boris. A prince of a pooch who puts up with being dressed like a princess. <laughs> I think it's hard for any dog to hold its head high when it's wearing a tutu, but it's probably especially difficult for a proud German Shepherd. Hey, kid, don't do this to your German Shepherd. I mean, a poodle, I get it, but not a Shepherd. The things that a dog has to put up with in order to be considered man's best friend. We have your back, boys. Just don't pull out the high heels, okay? <laughs> Howdy, cowboy. Swaggering into the number two spot is Merv, a Chihuahua Terrier mix who's straight out of the Old West. What's wrong, Grom? He's either going to head down to the saloon for a sarsaparilla, or perhaps he's going to the OK Corral for a little shootout. Hey, we're good. We're good. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. I just, I'm just going to get you a dog bone, OK? I'll put her up. As tough guys go, Murph, you're about as cute as they come. It's just beyond cute. Everything about it. And finally, dressed to the canines and flying in from a galaxy far, far away, to nav number one are Pixie and Wicket. They may be a wee bit late to audition for Star Wars, but they're right on time to take the best-dressed doggy trophy. Pixie, are you Princess Leia? Wicked, are you Darth Vader? Where's your lightsaber? Looks like someone took a lightsaber to your helmet there. Star Wars 8, we turn up the puppy. You know what I think these dogs are probably thinking? If the Force was with us, we wouldn't be forced to wear these costumes. But oh, we are so glad you did. <laughs> Leia, do you think we could be America's cutest dog? Cute scale 1 to 10, I'm going with an 11. Pixie and Wicked, it's indisputable. You are the cutest masquerading mutts in cyberspace. But can the force propel you all the way to the top?